So just to give you a small peek, uh, sneak peek, we're going to see later that transit energy and contact energy relate each other. Uh, later, we're going to see that the transit energy equals the change in content energies. For example, transit energy, I told you, is work and heat. They will be the changes in, for example, potential energy, kinetic energy, and this one, this is special change, depends on if it's closed. If it's a closed system, it will be U, and if it's an open system, it will be H. But this is for the first law. I just wanted to give you a small introduction to the first law. Hopefully, you get this. It's pretty awesome how we can relate the transit energies are going to be always equal to the change on the content energies. And in general, guys, this here is kind of easy to calculate or measure, and this here, not that much. So many times you're going to have to get this equation, calculate this here in order to get this, or backwards, you're going to calculate this in order to get one of these. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.